All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So I just finished up my summons on the LRMUI Goku and LR SSB Vegeta banners. And while I'm not gonna tell you how things went, I will leave a link to the original stream above my head. So definitely go check it out. And while it is pretty late here right now, I wanted to have a quick discussion about these new Pilaf's Trove ticket packs before I go to bed because they actually look pretty freaking good to me. Now, keep in mind that the prices you see here are in Canadian dollars because I, you know, live in Canada. So if you live in other regions with different currencies, then the prices will definitely vary. For example, for my US viewers out there, the prices will actually be cheaper for these packs because the US dollar is, you know, more valuable than the Canadian dollar. All right, so uh, the way it works is that there are two different sets of packs. We got the Goku packs, and then we have the Vegeta packs. And each of these packs also have three different tiers. So you start at the, you know, the lowest tier, the first tier, and then once you buy the first pack, then you can unlock the second tier. And then once you buy the second tier, you can unlock the third tier. And uh, that is, you know, the entire process or the entire uh, set of packs. Okay, so for the first pack, they are $5.49 each for the Goku and Vegeta ones respectively. And, you know, they're not that exciting. Um, we got five tickets for each pack. We got a Platinum Hercule statue, five character slots, some Awakening medals, and training items, a few gravity chambers, support items and some small aged meats. So nothing too special for my US viewers though. I believe this pack is only about maybe three to four dollars, somewhere in that range. So not too expensive for five singles. It's okay, but like I said, it's not that exciting, right? And for the Vegeta pack, very similar deal. We got five tickets for the Vegeta banner and uh, the rest of the pack I think is exactly the same. But once we move on to the second tier, which is Let's see, it's $13.99 for me, so for US viewers, it should be around like $10, $11 maybe. And this one is much better. We got eight tickets, right? We got 10 uh, character slots. We got a decent amount of orbs, some AGL orbs for the Goku banner, cause or for the Goku pack, because obviously Goku is AGL. And we got some Platinum Hercule statues, some Z swords, and also some uh, medium meets this time and for the vegeta banner we got eight tickets two hercule statues uh 10 character slots and you know so on and so forth so here's what i would recommend actually if you're gonna be buying these packs i do think it's a good idea to go all the way to the third level or the third tier because look at the contents of uh of the third tier man the third pack it's 28 tickets which is almost three multis, right? You're also gonna be getting seven Grand Kai's. You're getting a level five, either crit or additional skill orb, depending on which uh, pack you're buying. So for the Goku banner, why do I keep saying banner? For the Goku pack, you're getting a level five crit skill orb. For the Vegeta pack, you're getting a level five additional skill orb. And I would argue the Vegeta pack is actually better because the additional skill orb is better than the crit one for the new LRs, but obviously, you can give the level five crit to, you know, any other unit you want, right? So level five gold skill orb is very, very good. And then on top of that, you're getting a good amount of orbs, phantom Hercule statues, and also three large meats. Now, obviously the highlights here are the gold skill orbs and also the tickets. And this is, as I said, about three multis. And if you were to pay the same price as the cost of this pack in the stone shop, you're only getting 91 uh, stones, which is less than two multis. So in terms of summons, the value is already quite good. But then on top of that, you're getting a bunch of bonuses, a bunch of very useful items that uh, will help you progress through the game, right? Like the orbs, the training items, the age meets, which are good for, I believe, 50 stamina each. And I just feel like it's a pretty good deal. You know, I would probably go for both packs if I, you know what? I was just about to give away my summon, so I'm not gonna say anything else, but 
Uh, the point is, if you guys are pay to play players and you're willing to spend a bit of money on this game, um, I might actually consider buying these packs, man. I think the value is there. It's not the best value I've seen by any means. You know, it's not nearly as good as this pack at the end here, the uh, beginners pack, which everybody should buy because for $6.99, I think it's only $5 for US people. Um, you're getting 20 stones, you're getting that beginner's ticket, which will give you a pretty solid unit regardless of who you pick. And uh, you're also getting some Kai's, some, you know, Awakening Medals, Hercule Statue, so on and so forth. So this pack is a must. Like, you gotta buy this beginner's pack, man. No matter who you are, I mean, you're getting the 20 stones. The 20 stones alone are worth the price of the pack. But, um, yeah, going back to the main topic here, which are these packs. I think they're good value. And uh, yeah, if you guys were on the fence about buying them, it's not a bad call, guys. It's not a bad call. Obviously, if you're not pay to play, I wouldn't recommend somebody to break their, you know, free to play virginity or I guess pay to play virginity. Either way, don't go from free to play to pay to play because of these packs. But if you are already pay to play, you were already buying stones anyways then uh, yeah, go for these packs. I mean, in total, if you buy all three tiers, let me see, it's five tickets plus uh, eight for the second pack and then 28, right, for the third pack. So in total, that's 41 tickets for all three levels, right? It's very late and uh, the mental math is just not working out for me right now. Hold on. Yeah, five plus eight plus 28, that's... 41, right? We're gonna go with 41. So 41 four multis for all three packs, and you're getting some orbs, you're getting some uh, skill orbs, you're getting some awakening medals, training items, some meat as well, which is always good. So there you have it, guys. Just a quick discussion I wanted to have about, uh, you know, these ticket packs. I think they're actually, you know, worth the purchase for my pay-to-play players out there. So, uh, like I said, if you were on the fence. You know, you can go for it without feeling too guilty about it. And definitely buy that beginner's pack, man. Just do it. Don't even think about it. Just buy it. I know I haven't purchased it myself yet, but I'm not really in a rush to, you know, pick it up. So I will definitely get it at some point in the future. But uh, it's just such amazing value, man. This pack is, is awesome. So uh, that's going to be today's video, guys. Uh, let me know in the comments down below if you decide to get these packs. You know, how many levels did you buy? Did you buy all three for each one or only the Goku one or the Vegeta one? Let me know in the comments. And uh, yeah, that's all I got to say. Have an awesome, awesome day, guys. Uh, as always, if you like the stream, make sure to like the damn... Did I say stream? Like the damn video if you enjoyed today's video and uh, sub to the channel. Hit that notification bell, all that good stuff. And until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.